Hello, 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 I'm Adrian Ross and you're watching Quick Drag. One, two, three, four. Quick Drag was created to celebrate Canadian drag. And this week, as my guest drag artist co-host, I have an incredible performer from right here in Toronto. And she's also the drag daughter of one of the contestants on season one of Canada's Drag Race. Without further ado, Tay Bobo. <laughs> Canada's Drag Race season one is starting in just a couple weeks. But before that, we want to go through the promo photos and see what we think. And I've got Tay Bobo here with me to do that. Let's start with the first one, Anastasia and Nakwe. What do we think about her look for the promo? everything that you would probably expect from a pageant queen honey it is opulent it's fierce look at the big hair anastasia is a seamstress so she knows how to put a garment together and it looks great i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real i think this outfit is really beautiful and obviously she's very talented she can make clothes the thing i think with this particular outfit it feels like I, coco chanel said before you walk out the door take one thing off and I kind of feel a little bit that way about this outfit. It's got feathers, it's got the dress, it's got this kind of cape cover up, it's got the necklace, it's got the huge hair, it's got the giant lashes. I mean, that's very pageant, obviously, but I kind of wish there was just like one element taken away so it could let, allow the rest to shine a bit more. I'm definitely very curious as to like what it would look like if the, the center feathers down the middle weren't there and then just the cape just oh, there yeah because i'd be very regal it's still very wow regardless oh absolutely let's move on to boa what do you think about boa's look i actually really like it I, I think i like it because it's so different than everybody else's and anybody know, who knows boa this is her up and down and she's like here here is a stone sparkly hockey inspired outfit with a net as a cape and a, and a gold helmet. Here you go. As the queen of the north. Right it's there. Definitely so amped up in a very like Canadiana sort of way, which I love. Conceptually, I think it's incredible. Like I love the idea. The hockey net as the like cape is so brilliant. The one thing that I wish is it does look a little bit artsy and craftsy to me. I wish it had been a little bit more refined, but like, it's so perfectly boa, which I love about it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to Ilona Burley. Her Instagram, after the announcement and going on to it, everything is so carefully curated and this look very much fits into that. Like the pastel blue looks stunning on her. If the prompt was Queen of the North, this right here is giving me like Queen Elizabeth the first, drag the hell up, but in blue. Absolutely. It has so many elements, but they're all so perfect. It has that like hard armor, but then it has like, like soft, like lingerie type thing underneath. She's got this beautiful like full gown. And then she's got like a sword finger. It's monochromatic from head to toe and perfect it's so beautiful yeah i love this look i thought it was incredible what about jimbo so this one to me is very white witch from narnia it does have that vibe absolutely with the feathers and the crown and the hair and the white skin that's what it's kind of giving me witchy witchy queen yeah I like this look. It's, I mean, for me, that headpiece is incredible. It's so beautiful. The rest of the look, I'm like, it's good. I like it. It doesn't stand out in, a, in an incredible way, but it also doesn't stand out in a bad way. For this look, the one thing that I wish, and I'm not 100% on this, but the one thing I wish she would have changed is the face is so white, but like the hands and the neck aren't. I'm like, if you're going to go there, I kind of wanted it to be the whole thing, but she's also a drag clown, as she puts it. And clown is very like white face, just the face. So I'm like, if it's leaning into that, then I could be on board for it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Let's talk about Juice Box. Ah, oh, stunning. I love her, that, like everything about it is warrior princess Elsa. Well, I guess warrior queen Elsa. From yeah. the braid to the corseted faux armor, it's just, 
in my opinion, Juices was one of my favorite, and I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble with this for saying that, but hers was definitely one of my favorite looks. Like every time I see any of the photographs of her in this entrance look, I'm always just in awe. Cause even the paint on her face is stunning. Like head to toe, everything works for me. I love it. I totally agree. I think this look is so good. And like the shape is so perfect because it's like out here, it's tight through the body and then it pops out. It is so intricate, which you don't necessarily see at first look, but when you look at it more closely, there's all these tiny cutouts all around the edging um, and it's leather. So cutting that out all out must've been like crazy, but it's a beautiful, beautiful garment. And I agree, like, Tip to toe, it was really, really well done. It has that magical girl element that informs a lot of her drag, and it's like, she takes you there. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like it's, um, she's doing the best version of herself, which is like, that's exactly what you want to be doing, especially on your first look on Drag Race. Let's talk about Kiara. I'm always, I'm always like never quite certain how to interpret garments where it's not a lot. So this is like a corset with, is it a cape? And then the chaps and then the pasties. Yeah. So I think what helps her stand out is the face, mm -hmm. but the, the garment itself is similar to some, or, some of what we also see in some of the other girls. I like it, but I don't know if it's tightened enough for a promo picture. That's kind of what I was thinking as well. Like, I think it's nice, but I just want it to be elevated even more. Like, the shoulders are cute. I want the shoulders to be, bam, like, bigger. I want, you know, more drama with it, I guess. I look forward to seeing what else she uh, has to show. Yeah, that's my, that's my thing, too, is because you don't really know. It doesn't, because it doesn't tell you enough, you're still intrigued to be like, well, what else is she going to bring kind of thing, you know? Absolutely, yeah, I agree with that. Let's talk about Kine. This one gives me very, like, old Hollywood. It's almost a sweetheart neckline gown, and then it has the fur cape, so it's giving me that. Regardless, like, like, she's sparkling, she's stunning, the fur, the dress, everything, it looks like money. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, of the looks, I feel like this looks like, looks like Photoshop. And not to say that this was Photoshop, I think she looks like Photoshop. The mug is so perfect and it's glowing. Obviously she's a very talented makeup artist, but also it's glamorous, it's gorgeous. It looks lovely, I think. It's really nice. Let's talk about Lemon. The thing, the thing that's interesting about Lemon's look is it it's kind of synergistic with her name because it's lemon, so obviously she's wearing yellow. You can see every bit of what she's referencing in terms of royal regalia. So you've got the cage skirt, you've got the puff sleeves, you've got a crown. So I love the references that she's playing with, especially since it feels French, I think, is more or less the sourcing that I'm getting. And I love that she's in yellow because some, so many of the other competitors are in white. So head to toe, I don't see really anything wrong with this look because the hair's right, she's got a crown, she's got a fantastic outfit, and it's in a different color. Yeah, she's like, crown it already, I'm here. I do think it stands out because of the color. It's definitely something different that nobody else was doing. And it definitely has Parisian vibes with the little knee-high socks, the little ruffle panty, the kind of cage skirt, uh, and the puff sleeves. And obviously she can paint, that face looks amazing, so. I don't know Lemon as a drag queen, so I'm interested to see kind of what her personal style is and if it like aligns with this or if this is kind of a departure from what she does generally. Let's talk about Priyanka. Priyanka. Yeah. Well, she's always gonna stand out because she's Priyanka, first of all. Let's yeah. get that right. Mm -hmm. And you can always trust Priyanka to have an outfit that you see it and you're like, that's her. And you see it, and it's every bit of who she is. I think it straddles that nice fence of being a lot without being too much, which is very Priyanka. She's yeah. chaotic, and would we really want her any other way? 
Exactly. Where I'm asking for some queens to give a little more, I feel like Priyanka gives more. It's always going to be dramatic. It's always going to be elevated. It's always going to have some exciting um, components. In this case, the shoulders are incredible. You see that recreated on her shoe, which is like she's really thinking about the full look. And I think it looks, yeah, it looks amazing. It looks like a lot of work was put into it and it's a beautiful costume, especially right off the bat for people that aren't familiar with her. I think she's showing kind of who she is as a drag queen, which is great. Rita Baga, what were your thoughts on her look? Once again, all the queens who didn't wear white automatically stand out. The thing that I think that a lot of the queens went for is they went for very ice queen kind of looks. Whereas this is a little bit more darker, more serious. And it definitely intrigues me as to what her personality is going to be like within the show. Because this look is severe, but in the right way to me. I think it's also another take on royalty, right? Like if you're asking someone to be clean, you're going to wear that royal purple. You're going to wear that kind of brass color. Um, the other thing that I really noticed about her was her makeup is really kind of like intense. It almost reminds me, I don't like to really compare queens with other queens, but it kind of uh, is reminiscent to me of season one of Drag Race, Nina Flowers, that kind of like severe mm -hmm. makeup. And that is really interesting to me because I'm curious to see whether she changes it up every time or if that's kind of like her standard makeup. But yeah, this look, I think it's very big, very bold. I like it, I don't love it, but I don't have to, so. Behave yourself, I know you probably have to stay on mom's good side, but what were your thoughts on Scarlet Bobo's <laughs> promo look? It's a statement piece. It's red, obviously. What other color is it going to be for the bitch who eats fire? Mm -hmm. It's red, it's ruffled, she's got the cuffs, she's got the, the claws, and the hair is different than so many of what the other girls were doing too. And it just, it, it's her and I love it. And she's still, like when you look at the picture of all of them, your eyeball goes to certain places and one of those places is Scarlet. Her face is painted so perfectly. It's really, really great. And the red lip ties in with the red outfit. The hair is different and I think in a good way, like you were saying, it's very Bobo and I think it was a great look, great first look, and a great first way for Canada to see Scarlett. Like if you know her, you can see the little references of the various things she's making. You can almost see because she loves Harley Quinn so much. You can see those influences in the costume itself. And then the ruffles is very clowny, right? Yeah. So you can see the little things if you know her well enough. Exactly, yeah. It's definitely tying into who she is as a person and a, as a performer. And finally, Tainomi Banks. Ah, uh, I loved hers because it's, again, in the cast photo, one of the places your eyes go is to Tainomi. And she interpreted everything differently than anybody else. And really, would you expect that differently from her? She's got the royal blue, which looks stunning on her skin color. She's got a different interpretation of the wig. So she's got this whole, like, early 90s kind of inspired Grace Jones thing going on with the crown and the shoulder pads. It's just different. It's unique. It's her. I feel like it's such a clean look. Like that hair is so clean. The color blocking of the dress is so like clean and neat. And I think the thing that makes this look really interesting is the way that she styled it. The accessories she used, the multiple belts, the necklaces, the crown, the multiple bracelets. She really elevated the look with those things. Um, it's beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite looks from the promo looks. It's also a little atypical for her too. And so this was a nice little different interpretation for her. And I like seeing the versatility there. I feel like I've seen her so much in Toronto, which is lovely. She's an incredible performer. But I'm so excited that by this shot, I was like, ooh, that, it felt different and in an exciting way. So I'm excited to see what else she has to get. What would you say were your favorite looks of the promo shoot? My top two for sure were Juicebox and Scarlet Bobo. I think for me, my favorite two were Ilona Verley. I loved hers. 
Ooh, it's a toss up for me between Tainomi or Priyanka. I love both their looks. Oh, and Juice. Oh, God. <laughs> it's right? impossible Canadian Honestly, drag the Canada's Drag Race first season promo looks, they brought it. They brought it. They brought it. They brought it. Yeah. Really, it's like finding something negative to say, you're like, I guess it's going to have to be this thing. But right. Really, it's nitpicking a little bit because it is really so elevated. And if this is what the promo shoot looks like, I'm so excited for what we're going to see on this season. Very that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tay Bobo, for spending time with us and reviewing it. And we'll be back very soon with another episode of Quick Drag. If you like what you just saw, click the subscribe button over there on our social media links below and come back and see us on Wednesday for our profile of Tay Bobo.